Good morning, folks. It's 1010 a.m. on the 18th day, 8th month, 2022. And the weather bombing of New Zealand continues, and the shitstorm over Australia is continuing, and I want to hope I can cover them all. Um, this is now the all pixelated out feed that they give us for uh, this uh, satellite now since I started showing things. I'm going to run this. Uh, I don't know why it stopped. Let's do it a little faster. See the squaring out here? See this curve under the other end here? See the way this is coming through here? Now watch this turn here. A secondary cyclone it, uh, flow is forming right over the super darn, which is a part of the JOR network. Big antenna right here. It's forming now. I seen it on uh, Mimic TPW and I see evidence of a big beam. Big, 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 big beam. And I'm so worried about this beam. I'm going to actually name it town. I'm going to elevate a earthquake risk from this Kaikoura area up to Christchurch because of this beam right here on the timestamp on the last bit of this film. See it right here? See the pulse? Watch him turn the corner here. This is extreme weather manipulation bent to take your houses away. What they don't flood, they'll bring down. I told you, if an earthquake will bring down roads, right? I'm going to backwards this direction so you can see the beam. Right, I got your timestamps and everything rolling. Oh, somebody said if, if I can change uh, the color of this to show up better. Well, I can't. <laughs> I've got to actually change the size. I'm not using a monitor. And I've got a television, and it's different. Right, the... The divergence of the flow from up here is very evident. This isn't a La Nina event. La Nina is an ocean current come from South America, right? It doesn't suddenly turn and dive south. It doesn't suddenly take this current and dive south. This is done by electromagnetic frequency and pulsations, right? If you look over Australia here, just to uh, outside Adelaide here, a good distance actually, there's a huge beam swath. Like if you drove from here to here in a line, it would take you many hours, probably about four Four or five. And that's how wide this beam swath is. It's huge. And it's going all the way up through here. And it's coming from over here. See here? You have a ship. A ship at say, With emitters on it. It's obvious. That the signature's right there. That's right. It's hard to hide the signatures of what the electromagnetic frequencies does. Excuse me. Other than they do. In a plural. But you... You always see the effect of it. You know, a laser beam can be invisible, but if it creates a plasma, you'll see that as an evidence. Because somebody was asking me the other day about do weapons, and I said, well, it's an invisible form of light. How did you determine it was it? The crash, trash can didn't melt, then the car did. Okay, that's a pretty good determinant. Look at the fold move. Go up and over Fiji and these other islands. They did a beam yesterday. I showed it. Imagine their radar's off. But that's a big pulse. That's a bad, bad. And as this comes through, the earthquake risk is bad. And the, the aiming of the rivers and tendrils of moisture being now stretched out as a filament. And it looks to be being, some of it's being split and worked halfway up and around. This is not good. So I'm elevating a earthquake risk for Christ Church area from here to here. Nelson, you are flooded to the roof. Uh, my God. If you don't have the ability to get out of your roof, don't go up there. That's not is not the safe place to go. You're better to swim along and climb on top of another roof than get trapped up there with your pets. Uh, the images I saw of the thousands of people that were killed in the northern rivers that was never reported on are burned in my head forever. I, I suffered a hellacious trauma from some of these pictures. Yeah, they're beaming it. Look, you see that tickle come out? I wonder if I could catch it. Fiji Met Service Radar. It'll be, uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> see if we get a bus two days in a row. So excuse if things take a minute to load or it gets choppy with the sound. I do the best I can. It's going to be the Nizori loop doing it. They're the ones. See, I'm going right to it. This should be this one. Radar images. What's going on here? Right. I'm looking here. We got nothing. They're not showing any weather at all. 
They've turned it off. Got scatter beam going over the airport here. No, they're not showing it. Nope, I can't determine with that image. Right, we just keep it. We keep it on. It's, nope, I can't determine with that. I just see it here. Of the woods yet there in the Draki radar. They called me a fucking liar when I reported about Winston being geoengineering, and I was right about that, too. Yeah, you're forming a second cyclone here, and it's going to pull the tendril more inland, actually. As this turns, it's going to pull it. That pulse there has actually cleared the way for it. Which way is it leaning? They get a lean to them, and they'll tend to make a cut or, or a nudge. You know that nudge move I've been doing? Like, this is going to nudge that. It's going to make it spin if they time it just right. So let's have a look and say some of your totals. I think it's important. Okay. New Plymouth is under a very heavy tendril right now of moisture. And this is long, sustained event. All this electrical potential goes through this at all, at any time. You could count on seeing water spouts from this. I don't see how it's not going to happen. All the convections are right. Heavy lightning out to sea. That's an avoidable area for shipping, isn't it? And I will try not to get too upset over noises in the background. I live in a shared house, and it's the time of day people are cooking. And so it's fair. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Vanuatu. These two control a lot, and then it gets to New Caledonia, and they blast. Yeah, you guys are very guilty here. So uh, let's continue on and see some of the wintry mix. Looks like it's heading now up and towards Australia and uh, starting to impact Tassie. It's going to be the heavy winds when it hits. Yeah, some heavy lightning and stuff popping up. Try to look at two things at once is difficult. Now, as you see this descending down, what was that flash that went up there? We're going to have one little snowflake. And they know. There's going to be a snowflake at Friday 19th on the 19th at a particular time. So I think there's a weather plan that they could give you a forecast like that. But they couldn't tell the people of Nelson, New Zealand a week ago that you have a problem brewing. But I think I gave you more warning than that. And actually, I think I told you eight days ago. Somebody's mashing some plantain or something. There are all sorts of different foods I'm learning about. See Christchurch here? That's going to be from that pulse, going to drive that up and over. This comes through Cooks again. You guys are going to get smacked. See how it's come bucking around? Here he comes. He's still got a 36 hours to go. He's still got another uh, quarter of a meter of rain to fall. And I'm telling you, it's falling hard. There's some of the pictures I'm seeing of the swollen streams. Do not go out and film this stuff. Don't be a moron. Enter me. Go film it. Outer me. Be safe. Inner me. Where's my pictures? Outer me. Come on. Right. Don't risk the, the life of a safety worker. But a warning has been given, and it was heeded in the town of Nelson. That made me feel good, actually. Right. If you care to support my work, um, thank you for your kind words. This is my favorite support. Okay, Tazzy, your turn. You can do so at P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E forward slash Robert Deutsch. I'm watching something here actually side by side. I'm going to need a pressure. P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E forward slash Robert Deutsch. I need to see where the pressures are. Fuck. Right, everything's, it's going to stall. It has to. This rushes this way and this way. This tries to get her out of the way of that one to get to that 82. But she's pulling long this way. It's telling me there's a really low pressure over here somewhere. Really low. Where you at? Here. So these two are fighting this way, which stalls the high, parks it in place. So as it's parked in place, it's a continual wind like this, right? Uh, your 14 range is through here. And because of the low here and here, wah, wah, bubble up to the side. All this cold in, cold out as these fight each other. Bloop, bloop. They'll like a little pump. Like your hands in the water, it'll pull squirt in the water out on the top. 
Well, those will squeeze and back and forth, and it'll pump all the dynamics of whatever chem has been sprayed here right over the top of you. So your 14 line is everywhere. I got to say it, the whole country is in a volatile situation. And initially up here, this will brunt down here. And Nelson's going to get the wind, the tides, and the brunt of this, and all the runoff from the mountains. Um, bless, blessings to, to the people. Island of New Zealand. Where's the pressures right now? Low dogs here. That's very low. At 935, that should be devoid of cloud. Anything under 950, devoid of cloud. So is it? So I'm going to turn that. I'm going to leave that just for shits and giggles. I want to have a lot. See what worldview is showing me. I want to see, is it devoid of cloud? And if it's not, the dynamics of that storm are man-made. Because that's a fact. This should be devoid of cloud and be a hell of a toilet flush. All right, where are we at? In here. Yeah, I can see over the side. Right under Africa. Right here. <laughs> Do you see a big old storm under here? So the day before it should be here. There, It isn't there. So it's just a pressure. It's not a storm. But it looks like it. There is none here. This should be a full rage and circular toilet flush and thing down here. And it is not. Why? Because it's being nudged. Look, there's a nudge move. Got EMF over here. Now, now that's not a wheat checks in your bowl. Chem bomb, chem bomb. <laughs> Something edited out of the feed that in the past we've determined to be uh, some kind of device that... Uh, Refracts the light like it's putting something out. Isn't that interesting? You think they'd do a better job editing something out of the feed? You ought to have seen how many of them there were over the top of that hurricane on 9-11 driving it offshore. One day I'll do another 9-11 presentation. Chemtrail, chemtrail, bomb. Creating this low pressure just like I suspected. And even this here is not devoid. handed to him what kind of double eye is this you got a storm here and this vortex here and right in the center see if we go clear oh microwave popcorn Bzzz, getting fried getting fried antarctic style oh no cooked whales how do you feel about that penguins are down there getting cooked yep how do you feel about that and then they lost their minds it kind of looked like a bird head. Is that justice or what? Or is justice just ice? Is it cold? What has been sprayed down here that's yielding this color? Flower death. So it's a payload over the ocean. Not helping uh, any droughts there. Uh, New Zealand. So we could pick up a pulse. But the pulse just happened. So it might not be evident on here yet. No. I don't see that pulse. Unless this is part of the wake coming over New Zealand here. Doesn't seem like it to me. The land of the long white cloud. It's its actual one of its nickname. And I, I call it the land of the long freaking white lie. The big chemtrail lie. It ain't a white lie. Because when it's doing harm. You know white lies are saying. Oh I love your hair. <laughs> when you want to make a joke. Look at that eh. That was yesterday. Yes, they sprayed. Do, 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 do. And then a storm came and took your house away. And if you listen to me, maybe you got some warning. And um, I'm very sorry for your loss. Look at this formation here. Bzzz, getting fried, getting fried. New Zealand side, chembomination off the coast here, fueling this storm, man. Cyclone season is right on the... This is the international date line. Somebody decided that... Uh, One's the 17th, one's the 18th. You know what? I don't see that. I think when a whale swims from here to here, it doesn't adjust its watch. But uh, we got to watch out for them. We just do. Those are chem bomb deployments. Feeding the edge of this storm. Going on up. Look at it. Come on. 
rectangular abomination, chembomination, bzz, boom, boom, and all that kind of shit going with it. I'm sorry, I'm getting wound up. Here it comes. I can feel it. I can feel it because these nations up here decided to deflect the storm and turn the entire river of moisture two different directions. This is an impossible. This is not La Nina. This is an El Grande White Lio. Yes, I'm going to say it. It is. It's a fucking lie. They are lying to you. Sure yet. No? And you got some homework to do before you tell me I'm wrong. You fucking do. So the conditions to make this storm have been reproduced by man over to Australia. And then I'll get to more of the amounts. Nelson, you're still fucked. Got about, uh, you've had half of it. Just about. I think there's more than what, than what's being indicated. Look at this chemtrail rope, right? We're going to go look at it. All right, that's chemtrail. Something came along here and bombed you guys over Australia. You can even see the little nodules of them here. It's triangular. That they, they could very well be the TRB doing its work. You'll never see that from the bottom. Boy, do they got some cloaking. They can use uh, imagery cloaking, show you the sky above itself as it goes. <laughs> Super AMOL screen ain't got nothing on them. They can beam you. This thing's got some tech. You think the government ever tells you what they got until they had it 50 years and they're tired of playing with it? And they want something new? You're fooling yourself. There's always some other diabolical thinking going on. Jesus. That's horrendous. That's a big-ass chemtrail. Where does it start? I'll tell you what. I'll start it here. I'm going to measure this. Measure it. We're just going to do the distance on this one. I'm going to go from here to here. All right, it's 2,000 miles. That's like flying from Izmir to uh, to London. Four-hour flight. That's disgusting. This big line of shit here is all big mass of crap in conditions that make cloud. Tazzy, you're going to get your moment coming. So let's have a look. Look at that pulse. See how circular it is? The curves to it is an absolute radar pulse. I'm just looking, doing quiet, determining. Like, I couldn't just watch this for an hour and then do an hour report. Ooh, a guy looking out a window at you. Hey there, stop spraying us. <laughs> if he, can he come outside? Yet, are the muggles gone? Sometimes I think Voldemort had it right, other than the part where he took oneness and oppressed people and hid all the real news about Dumbledore and told lies. Oh, wait a minute, that's going on now. When your politicians hide the names of perverts that are have done crimes against children, then those names should be public. No matter, if anybody ever, ever even questions something going on, it should be made public when it has to do with government. Look at a chem bomb going there. It's blatant. Where am I? doesn't matter. It goes on worldwide. And today, New Zealand is going to pay the brunt. They're going to pay the brunt. Look at this pulse. Pow! Sudden nucleation, it wasn't there. Pow! That's a pulse, and that's not good for them. Now, I'm absolutely going to elevate your earthquake risk to as, uh, as a concerned as I could ever be. There. I said it. You living around Nelson, you ain't got rope. You always can use an old extension lead in case something floats away. And if you don't go hide in your roof unless you have the ability to get out of it. Okay? Learn from Lismore. Thousands and thousands of people paid with their lives so I could learn this lesson. Yeah, I seen the films of the people rescuing people from the roof. So they thought they were rescuing. Cleaning up the bodies is what, hiding them in various town halls and churches. So no accurate count was ever given. It's in the thousands of people were murdered by geoengineers over here near where I'm pointing. And now they're doing it again. But I will not be silent. Turn the pressure off. <clears throat> okay, let's give you a run of your forecast while I have a sip of a drink. And I'll let you see each side of it. There you go.
And as usual, I'll stop when I see an interesting move they're doing. Mm. I like that water. It's nice. I got to say, Harry, you nailed it. You can tap water. You see how that it comes in when it butts, butts against the shore here, the way the, the land is set up. There's a sudden lift, and that sudden lift's enough to create a vortex to drop the rain. And that's why you're getting in here so bad. And I'm going to stop it. All right, this is 36 hours from now. Told you you weren't out of the woods. But the woods are going to get cleansed. Beautiful, blessed water. No mercy upon the land. And no mercy upon the ignorant toxifiers. This is every three hours. This is fucking heavy cells coming in. All right, let's run it. I'm sorry, I was going to show Oz too. This is just too important. I gave you guys the same attention while New Zealand was copping it before too. So, I don't know, this storm just will go in up this direction when it all should be flowing out this. The plan is to, to sustain in one area. And this is where that pulse was, wasn't it, that I showed you on Mimic? Right here. That's this area. Right? And it's forecast to have the heaviest. You guys are going to get an earthquake. I ain't never been so concerned. I'd have to look at moon position and planetary bodies and stuff like that to determine the, the strength. I, I, to see something in the sixes won't surprise me. In the fives, most likely. Because it's winter time. The, the land is cold. You suddenly heat something up. It expands and you put a wave for it through it. Something could crack. I'm very, very concerned. If I saw a seven, I wouldn't be surprised. Not surprised at all. The timing of the pulse. The cold ground, sudden expansion, doesn't go well. Mm -mm. See, look, this is the gear. It's just going to turn it right back down. You guys got a bad week. And here you come again, Tazzy. Here's your, uh, here's your winter. Okay, for all you Oz folks interested, cast your eyes to the left. For the New Zealand people, keep your eyes to the right. And for me, I'm just going to tell you the right things because that's just what I see. I think they're chopping something now. I think they're running a restaurant online delivery. <laughs> if they are, mm -hmm. well, then I might have to order a plate. Yeah, yeah, some snow. Here it comes. All right, I've moved. All right, Canberra, here you go. This is the most dangerous days to travel. Is uh, And this is my time. will be uh, Monday at about... Well, with this time is... Go look. <laughs> what UTC is. That's a bad line going to come through. See, it's about five days away. It'll show up in the 10-day accumulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look at New Zealand. Hello. New Plymouth, uh, yeah, they're getting it because they stick out too. But uh, Nelson, you get it because of your position and how low the town is. It's got a lot of level spaces there. Even their main street, it drains down a bit towards some houses that go toward that swampy areas. Yeah. Yeah, I've walked through there. Walk tall. If you walk somewhere, just walk tall. Right. They're all in agreement. But I was in agreement a while ago. Is it going to be snow? I got Queenstown. Not good. Here comes yours. Five days. Not much. Three days. Yeah, it's all after that hits. Let's see if it's snow. Let's hope it's snow. Wintry mix, so it's going to be a bit of everything. Up here will be more rain. Yeah, you're in for it. Wah, wah. Is this in the red? Or the orange? Well, if this drains here and this drains here, there's plenty of outlet for that water. But if this drains here and this drains here, and this drains here, and there's any kind of earthquake is shaking, these dams are at great risk. Yeah, this area here is fucked. Look at the lay of the land. That reservoir ain't going to hold all this. 
It's just not. They better let water out now. Let it out now. And you've got five days to get the level down. And if they don't, well, suffer the consequences. Big, huge swath of wetness coming through here. Looks like some should be snow for sure. Oh, that was a warm, trickly, wintry, miserable mix. Get you a deck of cards and remember to go play a game of hearts or crazy eights or something. Because the whole world don't go on crazy and don't ate all your future and how dared you with geoengineering. Okay, let's look at the wind. It's not happy. I'll jump around. Na, 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 na. Hey, he won't in that one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We'll go with the winds for, I want to see this day here. It's very important. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you done. Even in here on the, the, bay, the Penzance Bay. God damn, man. It's howling, man. Kevin, be careful. Kevin Kivanov. Bring the mind of fishies. Be fucking careful. Get your boat out. Bring it on land. I think it might be needed. Over there. Windy and what direction is it flowing? Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Watch your tide tables, people. It's up to you to be vigilant for yourselves. Only you know your location. And right now, you better hear me good. Nelson. It wasn't just about Trafalgar. Westport, you're in you're in a bit of a spot. But not like these islands. And these islands they're gonna be like the finger of God going over. No no go zones. Yeah, I'm very, very, very concerned. Quakes along the Richmond range when the snows and all that the winds butt up against them. Sorry, Nelson. Um you're getting a cleansing. So I'm just going to run this now. Mm, this sucks. I think I want to hear every freaking morn and get lowered by the gray mouth. The gray weather. Okay, let's see something. I got to see something. I'm going to give you a 12 hour guilt. You know they did something. Fast, fast, fast. Slow. All right, let's run tape. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hmm. They're going to bust themselves. Come on, Lord. I'll give you a two and one. Look at Sedona, huh? They got your number lately, ain't they? The day, the geoengineer deciders, they, our oppressors, they, that tell us to trust in God and sell us a piece of paper as legal tender. <clears throat> tender. Well, how's your tender night going now? Here's your tax dollars at work. He is not happy. Let's see if we can bust anything. I'm looking for beams. Money star shape raised there off your coast there. Uh, well, it's in uh, Palmerston North. Curve is pointing this direction. Leave all data out from here to here. If there's no rain going on over here in New Zealand, and if there is, somebody's lying to you because <laughs> it ain't showing up on radar. Right? Somebody has lied. There's some motherfuckies lying. That's right, I said that. Yeah, I swear sometimes. Get over it. This is a swearable situation, and I swear if we don't stop this geoengineering, we're going to be dead. We are. We're going to hit a tipping point of chemicals in the skies that's un undoable from there. And it's all the attention you're going to get from me this morning in New Zealand. Stay safe. Godspeed. Go warn people on the phone and tell them, stay your fucking asses at home now. Don't go in your damn roof unless you've got something you can poke out on them tins off of your roofs. There's a lot of tin roofs down there going to blow off. Yeah, I said it. 
But if they buried that McDonald's down the road in Richmond, wouldn't hurt my feelings. But somebody go to that pet world to make sure those pets are out of there. Along that long stretch, it's going to flood. Yeah, please. Please, please do that. Like, turn the broadcast off now and go do it. Or make sure they're safe. People are idiots and go out and this. That's their fault. But those pets in that store don't deserve to drown the budgies and stuff in there and the puppies. Kittens. Do you care now about geoengineering when I go kittens? That's a terribly long line of storms. It's going to be very electrical. Right, let's have a look. Show the light. It has to be. It's too long a line. They're saying it ain't. Uranus, Swan Hill. Look at this line of storms all heading your way. Let's see if there's any rotation. I'm going to go to a six hours so I can determine. I'm just looking now. And again, if you find my forecast of value and you care to support my free forecast, uh, you can do so at payal.me forward slash Robert Deutsch. Or send me some kind, encouraging words to keep me going. Is that my favorite support? Yep. Hey, have y'all read a lot of Freeland's book yet? Oh my God! I have to tell you the title. This, this is the, this is unbelievable. It's uh, geoengineering, transhumanism. You have got to read this by E L A N A F R E E L A N D Alana Freeland. Geoengineered. Transhumanism. You can get it at all sorts. Just look online. You'll find it. Yeah, big love, Alana. Love your work. I'm going to devour that book and I'm going to digest it slowly. Eat it. I ain't going to eat it in one gulp. That's a beam signature there in those clouds. Look at this pulse down. See how that, sh that shoots down? Have you been chem bomb there? Where am I? Bort. Sounds like one of those Muppets. Bort, bort, bort. Yeah, the Swedish chef. Yeah, he's cooking up a storm for you. Kemba bomby bomb orbiduskidi. She bomby can trial bomb 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 bomb. Fucking assholes. I couldn't resist. I love the Swedish chef. Look at us just staying in place. It ain't moving nowhere. It occasionally tickles back out. That's going a little bit too fast. I'm getting a little bit dizzy. Chem bomb being deployed over there. Boom! Right where I'm pointing. Straight in this hole right here of of non-clear imagery from people that you sold you a program to give them money for a radar, right? So you can have clear forecasts that you could see. Are you seeing anything here? You're not seeing? Do you feel the people in Canberra want you to see this or not see? Not sees in Canberra or want to seize? Can you bear this any longer? The policies of geoengineering that are supporting the Paris Accords that are going to tax you to the trillions on top of you paying for all this COVID crap that went on that cost you your jobs and some people their lives and made me homeless. How? Because I couldn't get out of a country and violated a visa because I canceled my flights and held my money for three months and I still hadn't managed to book three until I ran out. And I got caught out. Look at the chem bombs coming in over the top of Perth. Let's stop this a minute. Let's have a look. Here's a quad formation there. Boom, boom, boom! Go to plumes over there north of Perth sustaining this line of chemtrails that was over 2,000 miles long that I showed you at the beginning of this forecast. Big hook trail is some kind of crap there blowing shit out at sea over the tops of the animals. Shit going over the top of Adelaide there. Look at Delta formation there. Boom, 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 boom on north of Adelaide. Let's roll this. All right. I've got the controller. Right. One, two, three, four, five there where I'm pointing and they dissipated into whatever else and it's going on and the farts are in the air and you're smelling it all the way to Melbourne. It's a small burn, man, and you're being burned by lies. There's many ways to burn you. Ha uh, you've been burned. Feeling burned yet? Feeling duped? Wonka land? Doop-a-dee-doop. 
There's no such thing as chem bombs. Look at the fucking right in front of your eyes. The artillery method of the Paris Accords is very real. I'm telling you, it is. I'll show you. Geoengineering balloons Paris Accords, CIGI. Boom, Paris Agreement and Climate. Boom, page 16, 13. I'm going to go right to it. I ain't wasting time. Right here. Potential delivery vehicles for stratospheric sulfur dioxide injection include artillery shells and balloons and hoses suspended from towers. Right, that says they could do that. If you look down here at the reference number 57 and 9 about the benefits and risks of geoengineering, and you click some of these things, you'll actually see the definition. It says chemicals. I, I pulled this document up and read it. Go do this. Do this. This is called Doing your own homework, climate engineering, stratospheric aerosols. Researchers can't regulate climate engineering. This is a guy that says they can't regulate it. They can't control it. Pollute the planet for climate's sake. Should we do it? Global temperature stabilization versus controlled albedo enhancement of low-level marine time clouds. Low-level marine time clouds. See them yet? Feeling lowered to a lower level? See how that just stays in place right there? Doesn't move? See the signature? This is man-made weather impacting Sydney through Canberra and Melbourne today. And what goes up is going up your nose. Up your nose without the rubber hose and you don't even get to tell them to sit on it. And I can't bear it any longer. So, with that said, we are going to stop geoengineering. We are going to say no to these suggestions here. No. No, we will not have been suggestions of injecting preformed particles, which we call nanoparticles, of chemicals, titanium oxide. You want to breathe some titanium oxide? In an overview of the Earth system science of solar geoengineering from 2016, you cannot tell me this is a lie. You cannot tell me this isn't funded by the United Nations who have said to Australia, hey, have it, have it, have it in the northern rivers. And today they said to Nelson, New Zealand, go fuck yourself. We want your stuff. Right? We want your stuff. And with all that said, they want your stuff. And I just want you to be safe. Right? devastating earthquake in one part of the country while a flood is happening in another all on the south island i say this has got to stop big love people peace